It was a childhood dream. As long as I know, I wanted to play in the Rose Bowl. Fleming over left tackle this time. At the University of Washington, he was a football star playing halfback, returning kicks, and playing defense. Fleming literally runs over, around, and through. He played in two Rose Bowl games, both of which the Huskies won. The pictures may be faded, but the legacy is sharp. A football star turned politician, George Fleming passed away in December 2021 at the age of 83. We can't believe that he's gone. In the midst of the civil rights movement, Fleming arrived at the state capitol to become the second African-American senator in Washington state history. As the battle for equal rights raged across the country, in Olympia, Fleming fought the same battle against many of his fellow lawmakers, some of whom refused to shake his hand or even ride in the same elevator. I'm not satisfied with being a symbol. My efforts are geared towards being the most effective senator. I just happen to be black. Senator Fleming represented the multicultural and diverse 37th district, which includes Beacon Hill, the Central District, Rainier Beach, and Renton. But his impact was statewide. He was a person that lived to do the right thing and to advocate for others. In 1986, he helped establish the groundbreaking Housing Trust Fund. Some consider it his greatest legacy. He thought everyone needed to have a home to live in. The trust funds housing for people who are homeless or priced out of the market. In the last 35 years, more than $5 billion have been invested, creating roughly 55,000 units of housing. It's now a national model. The money even established housing named after the trust sponsor, the George Fleming Place, a new 106 unit affordable housing complex in the heart of Seattle's Central District. When I came in here, it gave me the feeling of hope. Don't give up. For people like Tracy Williams, it's provided a place to call home after years of being on the street. It was a good feeling to walk around and say, oh, this is mine. I wanted to cry. I have my own space. My own everything. Fleming's work has never been more needed. According to the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development, Washington has the fifth largest homeless population in the U.S., a population that has increased 30 percent in the past decade. There's a lot of people that is getting put out on the streets because they can't afford housing. He is one of our heroes. Sharon Lee worked alongside Fleming to help create the fund. Now Lee heads up the state's Low Income Housing Institute. People look at the homeless problem like it can't ever be solved. Well, this is a example of how you can systematically house people who are previously homeless. Generations of people are living in housing that he created. Today that includes housing for a wider array of people in need immigrants from countries such as Afghanistan. We recently moved in 13 Afghan refugee families. Families like this one who fled chaos and bloodshed now find comfort and safety. I'm happy because I'm safe from, from Taliban. My name is Milad. My name is Iltaf. I'm 12 years old. Nine years old. This is our, our home in America. Everyone loves my mom's cooking. My day out every year, he would hold a ball where he would bring his constituents yeah. down to Olympia. And everybody would just love that food. Yum. Both sides of the aisle would come. Bridging communities. And it's special to the heart. Yeah, he loved it. Fleming's family is proud of all of his efforts in office. Beyond housing, he created the state office that supports women and minority-owned businesses. Another victory, one we celebrate every year, the official Martin Luther King holiday. He is the measurement of every man that I've ever encountered. No one's matched that. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just true. But unfortunately, George is not here anymore. How are you doing living the next half of your life without him? I'm just going to remember him. And keep on loving him. His family is committed to keeping his legacy alive. Football hero, trailblazing state senator, and most importantly to them, a family man. He was such a sweet, wonderful person. I knew that all along, but I even know it more now because now I'm, I'm missing him. For Facing Race, I'm PJ Randawa.